Hello, today I'd like to talk about uh, the sometimes confusing issue of uh, assigning the right units to named expressions in, in fluent. Uh, let's assume that we have a, a time-dependent boundary condition like pressure based on time. Uh, so how do we define that boundary condition? We can define it using a named expression where I'm going to say new, I'm going to call this expression inlet pressure and it's going to be a function of time. So let's just say, you know, time, t for time, times, you know, let's say 100 pascals. So it goes from zero to 100 pascals in, in 20 seconds. It's a linear function. We typically want to stick with SI units. So what I would like to then, you know, what I'm going to say is, okay, this is pressure so let's define units which we must and then you know I, I define this function so I'm going to hit OK so now I have a new named expression called inlet pressure and this inlet is our pressure inlet which now you know I'm going to now assign it to the expression inlet press and I'm going to hit apply. However, as you can see, you know, there is a problem with the unit, which, you know, I thought I had it right. Uh, but there's a problem. And let me show you why. So let's go back to our expression. And in the expression, you know, when you look at it, T comes with seconds. That's why we have to account for that second. The way to do it is... If, if all, all these were numbers without units, this would have worked. But because t comes with seconds, we have to account for that. So let's put our units here. So now comes a second. We have this extra second. So if we take it out, if we divide it by another second, then the, this is going to, uh, you know, the product is going to uh, meet, meet the right unit criteria. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go back to our, my inlet boundary condition. I'm going to reassign. And as you can see now, uh, the so software accepted this with the correct unit. Thank you.